are here with the Dance Comp Reviews 2014 Best North American Dance Sport Photographer, Alex Rowan. And this, sir, belongs to you. you there you go. Come on, you gotta show it on the camera. It says Alex Rowan, 2014 Dance Comp Reviews Best North American Dance Sport Photographer. Cool. Congratulations. Thank you. This is definitely a big day for you, at least in the Dance Comp Review uh, community. Why getting that title matter to you? Honestly, it's like, it's good for my team because people think that it's all about, like, you put my name on it, but it's really like the DSP team, you know, there's like so many people who are involved that contribute. And so for me, like from an egoless perspective, it doesn't really matter, but for them, it, like they bust their asses for me mm -hmm. and I really appreciate it. And so it's like a community effort and it's like a community reward, so. You as a photographer, do you take selfies? None. <laughs> Actually, I take selfies with my girlfriend. She takes selfies of us, and then I'm always. How do you how do you always, take that? I always make a goofy face. You always I always, make, I always make a goofy face. Yeah. Do you correct your girlfriend on I don't know the filters? No, or, no. Do you want to do that when no, you take a selfie? No, not at all. Not at all. It's it? an iPhone. You're not supposed to correct it. It's supposed to correct itself. You know, and no, an iPhone knows its limitations. You know, so so you don't want to push an iPhone a little further as a photographer. There are times when I'll touch the iPhone and fix things, but I won't like go into a tutorial. And you I actually an don't iPhone. have an app to edit your photos on an iPhone. I don't. I, the only one I have that I don't use that my employees are mad at me for not using is Instagram. I don't use it. You don't use Instagram. I've made like five pictures on Instagram in my life. Yeah. How are you with the social media? How are you, your company, dance sport, Pretty bad. photography? Pretty bad. I have some girls that do a great job with it, and me, I'm like the negligent man of the family. <laughs> what's, your, what's your background? You are a dancer, as far as I know. Give us a little bit of your dancing background. Um, I started dancing at University of Michigan. Fell in love. I mean, you know, like everyone, just fell in love with, you know, the whole experience of competing, most of all. I love to compete. I was an athlete my whole life. It just transferred, you know? That love for dance just transferred into seeing it from a different perspective. Was this the first uh, thing that you started taking pictures of? No. Well, how did you start your photography journey? Hummingbirds. Hummingbirds. Yeah. Well, I would like hike mountains, I'd do crazy mountain adventures, and uh, wildlife was like the first thing that I would connect to. You know, because that's there. That's wildlife's amazing. A grizzly bear nose to nose is like unbelievable. You actually did that. Yeah, I've been really close to some. Okay, how close? Tell me, Uncle. You got to tell I've me. I've been like three feet away from uh, probably a 2,200 pound buffalo, and it huffed at me and spit snot on my shoes, and then I ran like a little girl. <laughs> you know what they do sometimes, apparently, I, I only saw this in like Discovery Channel or something, so they would position the camera and run away pretty far with a trigger, mm -hmm. so they could trigger the camera, mm -hmm. or maybe have a camera set on. Like, yeah, I wasn't that smart. I had my tripod and the photographer I was with was like, it's okay if the buffalo comes near us and we have a tripod in front of us, we'll be protected. And I was like, okay, so I'm just clicking and it comes and it's like. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I swear, like, I almost pissed my pants. <laughs> All right, so how did you end up going from uh, hummingbirds and buffaloes into the dance sport? Yeah, so I did, the, I, did, I did wildlife, I did travel photography um, before I started dancing. And you know how it happens, the passions collide. And I would go to a competition and uh, I remember going to Arnold Dance Sport Classic, which has a lot of youth competition, the USA right. versus Canada team match. That's right. And uh, that was the first time I ever saw like these 10 year olds that were just mind blowing. And I took pictures of them, got a couple on the wall over there mm -hmm. for my first time ever taking pictures of youth and I uh, loved it. So I just kept taking pictures of the, the dancers and it just kind of developed, you know? Do you find any similarities between animals and dancers? A lot. A How lot. so? Um, Elaborate. <laughs> the similarities between animal and dancers. At the end of the day, people are gonna show their real side, whether they realize it or not. And you can always, as a listener, as an observer, you can always see that if you're, if you're paying attention. What about differences? Humans are a lot more egotistical than animals. A bird never smiles for the camera. An animal never, never really intentionally 
shows off. So, so there's more natural in, in the animals, obviously, yeah. than yeah, people, you would say? Of course, yeah. If you are trying to catch a person in an act of dance, uh -huh. would you like a person to actually somehow interfere with the camera or, the, or with your vision or not? I always prefer unaffected photography. I always prefer natural. I always want to see, because as soon as you know that the observer is participating, the, it's, it, it's, it's, not the same. it's not the same. So I always love to see like the real natural interaction between lead and follow, between, you know, dance partners. That's always the most beautiful thing to capture that is like, you know, it's kind of what I crave, not the, yeah, look at me, saying, look at me. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just not, just for me personally though, you know, I like to just get that natural, that natural spirit of the person. Do you um, like spying on people with your camera? Spying on people with my camera? Do you have a big ass lens that you use to spy on I people? Have a, I, <laughs> people don't realize how much the lenses can actually involve themselves across the floor. I mean, one of my favorite things is like going across the floor and shooting through couples to find a moment, you know, and like the rum or something oh, nice. like that. That's a great, that's a great fun thing to do. Spying? Not really. I have memorized tons of choreography in my time just to, to, to shadow what they're going to do so the next time I see it, I can get the moment. Are you waiting for your shot, that shot, that moment shot because you somehow could predict it or you take several shots? I wait until it is given. And that's what if it. you miss it? I miss it. I won't miss it. I'll try not to miss it next time. Because uh, if you really miss a good shot, then you remember and you won't do it the next time. Being a dance sport photographer and actually having a business name, dance sport photography, do you uh, shoot anything else other than dance sport photography? Um, now that I've started a dance sport photography company, I tend not to carry my camera many places. When I go on vacation, I just bring my iPhone. I see. And uh, then you guys take selfies but done, with... But I've done weddings, you know, I've done things like this. Meaningful moments for people, meaningful moments for me. Um, you know, people don't realize how special they are years down the road when you have that moment that you can look at and all that nostalgia comes back. That's, you know, part of the motivation and why I do it. Thank you very much, Mr. Alex Rowan. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations, man. and I need to mention that we are currently located at the Falls Premier Bowl 2015. Beautiful venue. This is Igor Shalvarov, Alex Rowan, Dance Comp Review. Thanks, guys. Thank you.